Hey, this is Avanti with SJS, and this is a quick and easy tutorial on how to track out your tracks out of FL Studio. So I'm going to get right to it. The first step here is you want to come to where all the tracks are laid out. And here, make sure every single track is selected, uh, highlighted this green light here. And you do that by left clicking. So as you see here, I've already selected the track to come to the mixer. So let's say if I have just this first Nexus number four here, and I come to the mixer, and I link this particular track to maybe EQ it or something of that nature, it'll already be here. So what I'm going to do is these two that are already coming to the mixer, I'm going to right click to remove those. So that Nexus 4 and this one here, remove it as well. So what I'll do now is since everything else is highlighted, that means when I click here, go to link selected channels and click starting from this track, all of the tracks that I have highlighted are going to have their own insert into the mixer. So as you see, they are now all there. I'll play the track briefly for a moment so that way you can see that. So every track is running through here. So now what I want to do is when I export export it, make it so that we every single track will be separate. So we go to File, Export. You have to do Wave. And I'm going to go to a particular test folder that I created for this tutorial. And it's under track out test. So whenever you name it, usually I do no more than three sequential letters, one, two, or three letters. Because the naming is going to make it to where it's those few letters and then the name of the, the VST, the instrument. And it would just be so much to make it difficult if it's if it's a long name. So I'll name this A. So it's gonna be so every track is gonna be A and then whatever is here as far as the name of the, the VST or instrument. So save it as A. And the step to make sure now it's already good should be already under song and I'll have my buy trade and resampling at the settings I have them at. I'm gonna have it at the best 350. And then 128 point sync, and again it's wave. And split mixer tracks must be selected so that way um, it'll do every individual track and it won't just be a single wave file. So I'm going to hit click start. And as you see here in the folder, it's creating every single every single track, so every single instrument. So once it's completed. So once it's completed, it'll be every instrument that we put out to the mixer will now be separate. So if I wanted to send it to somebody, and actually, usually I will put everything in its own folder. So this will be the A track folder. So if I wanted to send it to somebody, another producer to work on, or if someone else was going to mix and master it, which I mix and master all the stuff here, I'll zip it. And then once it's zipped, I use 7-Zip. That's my favorite uh, zipping program. Then I'll go ahead and, and email it to whoever needs to work on the track. So, so if you have any other questions on tracking out uh, anything out of FL or any questions in regards to production at all, feel free to contact me through email at sjsavanti at gmail.com. Or, uh, or you can even call me at 904 713-3339. Thank you.